For this Flatiron Student Tech Tip, we're going to talk about the differences between the 2.5 liter single AVCS turbo engines that Subaru made that we're using either the B25 or the D25 cylinder head, and how to tell the difference and, and why you would want to know. So to start with, which one do you have? Well, all of the STIs have an engine designation of EJ257, and they pretty much all use a B25 style head. That's this one here. Where it gets confusing is if you have the first two years of production of a Forester XT, Outback XT, or Legacy GT. Because even though the engine is designated as an EJ255, they actually were still using B25 heads and all of that B25 architecture. If you have a VIN number on the car, you can just use that to very easily look up which one you've got. Um, but the problem is if you're, you know, if you're trying to build something or get used heads or so forth, then that's where you have to do a little bit more due diligence to figure out exactly what you have. Fortunately, Subaru made it really easy because all of those heads are very clearly marked in multiple places on the casting. Um, it's on the back, it's on the front, uh, it's on basically the intake side and on the exhaust side. It's very clearly marked um, B25 or D25. Um, on the STI, I'll also mention that in 2007 only, they used a V as in Victor 25 head. That is the only cylinder head that uses secondary air injection and has the B25 cylinder head dish. Um, when they went to the dual AVCS, that's a W25 head, but that's very obvious to tell because it has the dual AVCS um, ports on it rather than um, just, the, just the intake. So, so basically if you have a D25 2.5 liter turbo engine, secondary air is a really good tip off if, you, if you're just not quite sure um, or you're not able to see the markings on the cylinder head. That's basically when they changed the 255 to the D25 architecture is when they added the secondary uh, air injection. So what are some of the differences between the two? The, the, the biggest and most significant difference is that the B25 head is using a pent roof shape combustion chamber and it's a much deeper combustion chamber. It's about 55 cc's. The, B, uh, the D25 head is using a shallower combustion chamber and it's more of a hemispherical and it's 51 cc's. I've seen it possibly as low as about 50 cc's. To put that in perspective, the two, the two liter cylinder heads on a WRX are only 49 cc. So that's how shallow this is. It's almost, it's almost similar to doing a hybrid swap in a WRX. So with those various uh, variants in combustion chamber volume, the way that Subaru got these to the target com compression ratio, for the B25 head, that was, those cars are 8.2 to 1 compression. For the D25, it's 8.4 to 1, was by also changing the pistons. So the pistons were designed to match the cylinder heads. Um, the B25s have a shallower piston, which is about 22 cc's. The D25 heads have a deeper dish in the piston, which is about 24 cc's. So to start to see why it's important, what happens if you mismatch? Well, crunch on the numbers this morning. If you took the, the B25 head, which is the deeper cylinder head, with the deeper piston from a D25, you end up with a compression ratio of about 8.06 to 1. If you went the other way, went with the, the shallower D25 head with the shallow B25 piston, Put those two together, you know, with the compression ratio of about 8.6 to 1. So if you put them in the wrong application, your compression, compression ratio can be off pretty significantly from what the ECU is expecting, and you would absolutely need to tune for it. But even beyond that, where it becomes really important is if you're trying to pick out aftermarket parts such as pistons to go with your cylinder head. What you want to pay really close attention to there is first the dish volume of the piston that you're looking at. Um, that will be very helpful to calculate your compression ratio. But in addition to that, most piston manufacturers will give you the cylinder head volume that they use to calculate the compression ratio. And, and you want to make sure that the, the ratio that the, or the, the volume sorry that they used matches the cylinder head that you're looking at. So that you, if you pick a 9.5 to 1 compression piston, you're actually going to end up with 9.5 to 1 compression. Because for instance, if you have a 9.5 to 1 compression piston for a B25, which is again the, the larger cylinder head volume, and you put it with a D25 head, you're going to have a much higher compression ratio than that. So that's where it becomes really important to make sure that you're using all the right or have all the right information. And you're, you're using the right pistons with the correct cylinder head. So, sorry, it gets a little bit confusing, but again, hopefully that helps. That's why we made this video. So if you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more flat irons tuning tech tips.